We are now on the Style Rag booth. Some of my best friends are on this booth. Absolutely love it. We talk about the products a lot because their machines are so darn big sometimes that we can't bring them into the booth. But we have part after part after part, and we're going to show them all to you today. Udo, what are we getting excited about here at IMTS on your booth? Tony, thanks a lot. Yeah, we are extremely excited. We brought in our focus application for it so that we can have detailed conversation with our customer about our solutions, their problems, and we hope we can help them. But we are also very excited to bring at least a part, a piece of a machine in. You mentioned the giant machines. We cannot really put them in here. But when we look over there, we have our wonderful Z3 hat which is a heart of our EcoSpeed machines. And customers are super excited to look at it, learn about the technology, but they are also super excited to make some selfies in front <laughs> of the Iron Man. <laughs> that is exactly right. So without any further ado, let's take you firsthand in front of these interviews, in front of these parts to learn more about what Star Egg is doing. Because if there's one thing I know about Udo is that they are a reliable company that has your back. But no, we can't bring the machines in here. We're bringing a piece of the machines, right Udo? Right. The most important piece of the machine, right? Absolutely right. We also right. have our application team here so we can really dive in detail, discuss drawings, discuss application, the full nine yards. Well, let's get to it, my friends. I'll see you at the next part. I told you guys I'd be right back showcasing some of the coolest parts on the planet thanks to Stark. I got Burn with me today and we are standing in front of a landing gear piece. This is something they've been doing for a long time to perfection. Burn, tell me about the landing gear story. Yeah, well, we're standing in front of a, of a landing gear of a 787 large landing gear, obviously a main landing gear made out of M300 material, solid like a rock but pretty nasty to cut off and this is the challenge we had to accept it already 20 years ago nearly and yeah we're still in that business and we're improving that business pretty pretty good so there are constant improvements on the processes we're changing tools we're changing processes we're adding access to the to the operation and yeah that's pretty much what what we do on the landing gear stuff it's people like you and companies like Starag with 20 years of experience cutting some of these materials that are just so darn difficult. That's the expertise the folks need out there in order to succeed from day one on very difficult parts, isn't it? It is, absolutely. And we came out of a different market, different application, but that's, that's all about it. You, you have to learn from one market and transfer the knowledge to other markets. And with that, we we implemented some cool ideas on the landing gear and lucky us it worked out at the end of the day yeah well and as i said we were still improving so you never should stop relying back and say okay we have the cool solution the market is moving on the development on the aircraft is moving on so we have to move with that and with that in inside of the Stara group i mean i'm coming from the large machine machine tool side droop and ryan durius berthier but also with all our other products like STCs, like Hackett machines, we can share our knowledge and transfer it to smaller machines, to six axis machines for titanium parts, for stainless steel stuff, for carbon fiber, for nearly everything what is needed in the aerospace industry. Absolutely perfect, Burn. That's exactly what we needed to know. As we can see, they're prepping for the Bumotech behind us right now. So let's go see what Arthur and Hervé are up to and see what this machine, the Bumotech, can do for all of us. Well, thank you, Tony, for handing it over. I am here with Herbie. Herbie, what is this machine? I have been staring absolutely memorized while they were talking over there, and I completely lost my place. But what am I looking at? I'm used to three axes, I'm used to four axes, I'm used to five axes, but it looks like there's a lot more axes here. Right, so you're looking at a seven axis bar fed mill turn machine. Hold on, so I've got all these axes and it's bar fed? It is, yes, yes, for lights out production. <laughs> Talk about an all-in-one stop. Yes. Yeah. That is fantastic. What else do I need to know? What else do the people out there need to know about this machine? So this is a small footprint. So it's a small machine for a smaller part. It's a very high accuracy machine and it's really built like a tank. So there's big rails on the back. So it's a very rigid, small machine. So it's a rigid machine. I'm guessing high speeds. I'm watching this thing fly around. Yes, exactly we can bar feed it so we get our automation, our lights out systems. 
That is absolutely wonderful. When we're talking about repeatability and we're talking about precision and rigidity, what does all of the extra equipment in the back, all the extra the density in the rails, what does that give us for so tolerances? That, that gives us, you know, the machine tool, what's important, it's how it's built, yes. you know. So with the, with the big rails, you know, we, we have cast iron that gives you very rigidity machine, so precision, rigidity, it's very important for surface finish and also for tool life. Yeah, so what are some of the industries you see taking the best advantage of this machine in its work envelope? Yeah, so the best industry right now, we are really focusing on the medical parts. Okay. So it's really difficult to machine like titanium, you know, like yeah. stainless steel, 17-4 stainless steel, so hard to cut material. Yeah, and titanium and 17-4, especially when it's the harder precipitation of that material group. I mean, normal machines, you try to bite in, you're using the right tools, but if your machine tool isn't built rigid like this, it just does not work. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I know we've got to hand it off. Back to Tony and the guys at Polcom, but is there anything else they need to know before we hand them over? The, the fact that so we, we are doing two plates into one bar stock and basically the, 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 the machine design with two vice and one tail stock, it's, it's very unique. So yeah. that's... Yeah. So it's right there on the tail stock. So when it flips around, you can come in. Now you've got your center. Yes. So uh, can I use that for turning as well then while I'm in here? Yes, exactly. So we have a tail stock for turning, for supporting. Yeah. We have the first vice to clamp on, on the part so the part is supported. And the second vice will be to transfer the part to finish the backside of the part complete in basically one cycle. Well, thank you so much, Herbie. I just, I want to get this over to Tony. I want to bring it over to the guys over at Polkum so we can learn about them. And so if people want to learn more, best place is the website? Yes, the website, and we are here to help. And you can check out all the other videos that we've done with MTDCNC. Let's take it over to Tony. Thanks, okay, Herbie. Sounds good. Thank you. Hello, my friends. If you want to make parts like this, pay attention for the next two to three minutes because I feel real shiny right about now. And I got Bill and I got Dennis, and we're going to learn how this can be made in your shop as well. Bill, I know you want to do an overview. Before we get into the technology, let's talk about it, my friend. Well, we're, good. we're glad to be here, and thank you for having us again. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to be back at IMTS. We we look forward to this every two years. I know a lot of people have complaints and whatever, but it's always fun. Two years ago, we were a German company. We supported our customers out of Germany, which the, the downside to importing and exporting is it takes a lot of time. The biggest changes we've made in Polcom from a commercial standpoint, we now have a facility in Fort Worth, Texas, where we do all of our shipping, our receiving. Uh, the good news is for our customers, we can respond in 24 hours with their needs. It's the biggest issue in the tooling business is how fast can they get product. And it's it's just been a, lot, a whirlwind of fun lately. So um, from the technical standpoint, I'm gonna let somebody else talk about that. And I just happen to have our tech center head here with us. Just happen to have. I love when a plan comes together. Where's my cigar like the A-Team? Pass that microphone <laughs> over to Dennis because Thank I am man. ready to get technical as well, Dennis. You ready to get technical? Technical? Yeah, they call it, they call it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, my friend. Nice to meet you guys. So uh, we don't only do disco balls for parties in the machine tool. We would like to show at the IMTS we did a part on a Herker T45 machine tool. It's a dedicated five axis machine with a turning table which can be handled 900 RPM and handle this kind of application. It's an aluminum part. It's a part of a vacuum chamber for the semiconductor industry. And we used different milling technology and the special thing is only machining this kind of a part with indexable tools from Pocom and the methods from Pocom. Last question I have for you before we send it over to the next section <laughs> to learn more and more about these incredible parts on the Star Egg booth. Can I have that? Uh, no. <laughs> Everybody we tells me no. A, what in the world? About the we make you a bigger one. A bigger one. Yeah. They're going to make me a bigger one. You heard it here. Let's head on over to the next section. Well, thank you, Tony. Now, Tim, we are here. We're looking at this part, and I can't help but notice all of the intricate detail everywhere. How many different machines did you have to put this through? Believe it or not, just one. This is probably my favorite part that we have on the booth today. Do when you look at it... it just one machine. Sorry, I don't... Just one. Just one. Just one machine. Just one. Okay. This one machine can do all the milling, all the turning. 
all the interior work. And we actually have that machine in a variety of sizes. So I can do this up to 130 inches in diameter. <laughs> so if I want a bigger version of this part, I can go up to a 130 inch table? Absolutely. And you know, imagine putting this on a, a machine with a 130 inch diameter yeah. and you can swing it 320 RPM. 320. Okay, I used to run a small 60 inch table and I didn't like going over 150. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, with the steric team, we can show you the proper clamping mechanism, holding yeah. mechanisms, but really, it's a multiple setup part, but all these interior features, exterior features, one machine and done. Yeah, I just, I'm so blown away by all the different bosses and the undercuts and the, the different ribs and the radii, and then all of the detail you have down inside of that part, all of the different steps. Yeah. The fact that you did this all on one is absolutely amazing. And which machine type is that? I know you gave us a range, but which machine line is it from you? So it's gonna be the Steric STC series. Okay. Um, and what's really nice about the STC series, we have a variety of spindles. All so right. no matter what the material is. So, you know, typically these guys are titanium. They could be stainless, they could be invar. Yeah. No matter what the material is, we have the right spindle to optimize the production. So it doesn't matter what material group they're in, if they want to make complex, intricate parts like this, and they only want to use one machine, they can come to the team at Starag. Absolutely. One machine, you're done. It eliminates other customers. They'll take three, four, five machines. Well, Our guys do it in one. Yeah, three, four, five machines, and you have to handle the part between each of those machines. And as a machinist, my heart's like this the whole time. I put the straps on it, I lift it up in some form, shape, or way, and I am deathly afraid. Thank you so much, Tim. Let's go see where Tony got to and track him down. Great, thank you for time. Thanks. Well, we are back in front of the heartbeat of the EcoSpeed, and this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen as I've traveled around the world. I got my buddy Tim here with me again. He's gonna help me learn, and you learn why I think it's so cool, and all the technical background about these cool movements we have. Tim, let's talk about this spindle. Yeah, so the, the EcoSpeed is a machine that we created in 2000, believe it or not. It's almost 25 years old now. But at the heart of the machine is what we call the Z3 head. So it, aluminum plate work, large structure, any airplane you've ever flown on, it has this part. Well, I want to talk about that part, but not just talk about it. I want to show the audience as well. So I'm going to put my microphone down, let you take over. You can have my job. In fact, let me, let me give it to you. I'm so excited. You can have two microphones. All right. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. So here's the sample part cut on the Echo Speed. This guy took 62 minutes from a solid billet. It, it's a full five axis part, has holes on the side. It actually has pockets on both sides if Tony flips it over. Very complex part, um, full five axis motion required, but with this machine, literally an hour, start to finish. Absolutely. Tim, that's absolutely incredible. And along with that, um, I'll be your Vanna White anytime, buddy. I'll hold those parts for you. Just let me know when you want to share something amazing and I'll help you do it. Great. Thanks, Tony. All right, buddy. Always a pleasure. Always Let's pleasure. head off to the next pieces to see with some more beautifully made parts by the Starag family. So I'm here with my buddy Jason and we're at the booth and Jason, I, I'm looking at this, okay? And I have a background in machining. I used to set up manual Bridgeport mills and Lucas mills. And when I see this, I want to cringe and run away. This is the yeah. stuff I ran away from when I was still on the shop floor. H how does this get done in Star Egg? So that's a great point, Arthur. So basically, a lot of times, what you'll see is you'll have to have so many different attachments and different heads to produce this type of internal geometry. A lot of times, it's referred to as a Coke bottle uh, geometry. But basically, with our Heckert with a DBF head, you yeah. can produce this with about seven tools, automatically changed into the slide axis of the of the spindle. Hold on. So I don't need to deal with all the other logistics. I can do this in one machine with seven different tool changes that the machine handles on its own? Yep, and absolutely. So initially, it's a slide axis. When you're using it for milling, it's just out of straight out of the spindle, okay. just like a normal horizontal boring mill type of approach. Yep. Okay, we can put it in turn mode. And by doing that with an automatic tool change, it'll be a turning tool. And basically, it'll do interpolation turning with that tool. And as it, it will slide, plus or minus 35 millimeters either way. Oh, and wow. And it can, it can sit there and it can do the contouring. It can do the back facing. It can do forward facing. All these types of contours like you would normally do huh. with seven different heads that you've got to maintain. You've got to repair. We can do it all in one spindle and all in one, one approach. That is absolutely fantastic jason i love that it's it's as simple as loading the tools in the machine 
and letting the machine do the work instead of burdening the machinists than the people out there. This is the kind of work that a lot of shops will turn away because they see it and maybe they don't even realize Star Egg is an option, that this spindle is an option for them. So if you've ever seen parts like this and maybe you've turned them away from your shop or maybe you've been competing on it and you've been doing it in the old fashion, you need to check out my friends here at Star Egg. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. Right. Thank you, Arthur. Well, my friends, the booth tour is over. It was so great to spend time with you. This is Starag. This is excellence to the nth degree. But I saw some parts that I just had to show you before we close this thing off. This is the impeller, and that is the steam turbine blade on the back side here. Some of the coolest parts I've seen on this booth. And it would just not be fair for me to see it alone and you guys not see it as well. So take a look. But we are out of here. Thank you so much for your time. Time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. So if you spent it with us, thank you for doing so.